Okay, so we are working with a division standard algorithm today. So the first thing to know when you are setting up a division problem is that the first number that you come to, so this first number, that is the dividend. And the dividend goes inside of our division sign. So when I set this up, it goes inside of this little house, this division sign. The second number is the divisor. So that second number is the divisor and it goes on the outside. So the divisor is the number that you are dividing by. So what I suggest that you do is you list out your multiples of whatever your divisor is. So in this case, our divisor is three. So that's three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. And then you take it step by step. So out to the side here, the first step was to list your multiples. That's like your dividing step. The second step is to multiply. So the number that's going to go at the top for the quotient, that's the groups. So this is one group of three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine groups. So that would be the number that goes on the top. Then you have to subtract your number. You have to make sure that it is the smallest number. So once you subtract, you have your smallest number. It can't be larger than your divisor. And then you bring down the next number. So I have a little song that I did uh, with my students, and it was divide, multiply, and subtract. Bring it on down and bring it on back. So the first step was to divide. And now we have to multiply. So how many groups of three can go into three? Well, that's only one group. So then now we subtract, so and subtract. Three minus three is zero. Bring it on down. So I bring the next number down and bring it on back. So now I start again. So now I look and how many groups of three can I subtract from four? Well, that's only one group. And one times three is three. 4 minus 3 is 1, and then I bring it on down. So now I have my next number, which is 18, and I bring it back. So now I look, I do my division, I do my divide, division, multiplication. So how many groups of 3 can I get out of 18? Well, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 goes at the top and subtract. So now I'm going to subtract. 18, 18 minus 18 is zero. I have nothing left to bring down, so I am done. The quotient is this number here at the top. The quotient is the answer to a division problem. Okay, so let's turn it over and let's do a couple more as an example. So again, I'm just extending this line down and I'm going to write my multiples. So that's three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, and 27. So divide, multiply, well, two groups of three can go into seven, and subtract, seven minus six is one. Bring it on down, so I bring the two down, and bring it on back. Now I'm gonna divide, and then multiply, well, one, two, three, four groups can go into 12 and subtract. So I'm subtracting the number 12. 12 minus 12 is zero. I don't have anything to bring down. I'm done. So my answer, my quotient is 24. Okay, let's look at another one. So my divisor is four. So that's four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. 32, 36. So how many groups of four can go into nine? Well, that's two groups. And I'm gonna subtract eight. Nine minus eight is one. Bring down the two, and then I bring it back. So then how many groups of four can I take out of that 12? Well, that's one, two, three. So I multiplied by three. So 
4 times 3 was 12. 12 minus 12 is 0. I hope that you find this helpful.